Hi, I'm here to talk about the Philips Safe Ride LED bike light. Uh, Philips is a company from Germany that's famous for car lighting and they felt that they had something to offer the bike consumer market. In Germany and in Europe, bike commuting is huge. So, so that's the target they wanted to hit and primarily this, this is a commuter bike light. So in this package is a charger and one of these. So this is what they have, all machined aluminum housing. Inside is four AA batteries that they supply. It's, it can, the four batteries, AA's can be charged by USB. And that's the key now with all these lights, is USB charging. And the reason is you don't have to look for your charger for this light. Any USB port in your computer, in your car, your iPhone charger, they'll all work with these uh, lights. And a little bike, bike mount here. It swivels left to right, convenient. And it's fairly unique. It's very unique from any other bike light that we've seen. And, there, and I'm not sure if you could see this, but normally when you look into a flashlight or any bike light, you can see the, the, the bulbs or the LEDs. Over here, you can't. All you're seeing is reflectors. And what Philips is doing is they're not letting the light shine out directly into, into the road or the trail. They're letting it shine on the reflectors and they make sure that the only thing you see is a reflection of the light. And why that's important is they can control the beam pattern. Normally on a bike light or a flashlight, the beam pattern is round and light when it doesn't hit anything is gone. So a bunch of it is just wasted, you know, the, the upper half. The other problem with that is with drivers, you're, paint, you're, 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 you're pointing the light on the, on, the, on the ground so you can see the road, but half the light is shining on the driver's eyes, or 30% or of the light. So Philips tries to solve that by cutting off the light up top. So let me show you, let me turn it on. So there it is, I'm gonna shine, I'm trying to shine this on this tree over here. And what, what's really unique about this light is it's just flat. Uh, and we've proven it in, all our, in our beam pattern shots. Once it's cut off, there's virtually zero light above it. So you could aim it you know, on my neck here and I'm not seeing, it's not hurting my eyes. So that's the advantage. You know, they're putting the light right where you need it. Just aiming it right on the road and not on driver's eyes. So there it is. The um, couple issues with it. One is, uh, or this blue light indicate, is your battery indicator. It, it tells you how much battery you have left. You know, this is about four levels of indication. And then this, uh, this rim here is actually giving you side visibility. Side visibility is huge, very important on commuting. Because normally when you're, when you're if, you have, if this was dark, a car coming this way doesn't even, can't even see your light. Your light is sh shining that way. So this gives a little bit of side visibility. Some folks have said this is too bright uh, and this is too bright, it's distracting. I don't think so. I think it's just fairly subtle as you can see. Uh, the, um, and we've used it commuting. We've, uh, we've actually used it mountain biking too. And, and Phillips was concerned. He goes, oh, you don't want to use it mountain biking because if there's a low hanging branch, you, might, you won't see it. And I said, guys, have you heard of uh, helmet, helmet lights? Um, and they go, oh, you, you ride with that? I go, yeah, all the time. I ride with a bar light and a helmet light. So if you have a helmet light, you can actually complement this light quite well. There you go. It's, it's a super exciting product in the uh, commuting, little bit of mountain biking area. It's a little, it's, uh, it's 200 bucks. It's not cheap because of the quality and the technology of Philips. But, you know, for something this unique, uh, I think it offers value and they're, uh, and they're gonna, they have plans to offer lower cost versions of this and uh, maybe a different casing. Uh, another, another issue I, I, I mentioned to them is AA batteries. The big advantage of that is you could, if you run out of batteries, uh, you could just go to the store and, and replace these. But uh, in this day and age, that's actually pretty rare. You know, you just plug this in, your USB port is always charged. It's not really a concern to run out. The bigger concern is the, the form factor is, is a little bit big. You know, with lithium, this can probably be 
this big. So it's a, it's a great introduction from, from Philips. I'm sure it's not the last we'll see from them. This one is available in e-bike version where it can take a power for, from any uh, electric bike battery from, from 6 volts to 36 volts. And it also comes in uh, a, a dynamo version, a generator version, where, where you just plug it into your, your hub out, uh, front hub contacts and, and you got a light that's going to be uh, keep going on you. And even if you stop, I, think, I believe there's a 3 minute or 5 minute um, window or charge where it keeps, keeps it on. So there you go, Philip Safe Ride. Thank you.